Meet some sports pioneers. One of the first things settlers did when they arrived in the central Okanagan was to organize sports teams. It's been an important part of uh, the whole pioneer experience here and it's one of the ways that I think people helped make sense of the, this new place that they lived in was, was a sporting tradition. It wasn't important if conditions were primitive. All that mattered was a love of the game. Polo and cricket were often played in pastures and fields. In winter, people flocked to frozen lakes and ponds. A relatively new sport called ice hockey was growing rapidly in popularity. Women competed in numerous individual and team sports, proving they could be just as competitive as the men. During the Great Depression, sports lifted the spirits of players and fans. Sometimes young men who played sports on the same teams went off to war together. As the Central Okanagan grew, sports facilities improved dramatically. Arenas were built. Every school had to have a gym. Sports became better organized. The quality of competition increased dramatically. Some teams were semi-pro or boasted players with professional experience. Intense rivalries were formed as local squads competed with teams from around the province. Some athletes prefer one-on-one -on -one competition. Many local champions from individual sports have gone on to earn provincial, national, and international reputations. Probably the greatest honor that any athlete can have is to represent their country. A lucky few actually get to make history. In 1958, the Kelowna Packers became the first Western team to tour the Soviet Union. They went as underdogs and with very little support from their own government. I thought we would have got better uniforms and equipment to go over there, but we more or less used all our old equipment that we had. And the only thing we got from them was uh, sweaters. The Packers won their series, playing in front of huge crowds. Most Russian fans had never seen Canadian hockey before. And I always remember skating out onto the ice, and the ovation we got was just scared them. They just cheered. We got the greatest ovation. Over the decades, our community has seen countless teams come and go. Some sports that were popular 100 years ago are barely remembered, replaced by new favorites. The one thing that hasn't changed is our love of competition. We all probably played hockey or soccer or whatever in sports and enjoyed it, but there are those who go above and beyond and bring our community recognition nationally and, and even beyond that. And uh, I think that we all gain something by recognizing that. The goal of the Central Okanagan Sports Hall of Fame is to preserve our region's rich sports history and honor our champions. We hope you'll join us.